are going to work through a 2018 HSC exam question for software design and development. This is question 22 part A and it's worth three marks. So let's just have a look at the question first. The function substring, which has three parameters, name, start and finish, returns the portion of name from position start to position finish inclusive. If the value of finish is greater than the length of name, then substring continues from the beginning of the name. For example, substring with the parameters vary for name, uh, three for start and five for finish will return RRY. And if we call substring with the parameters vary for name, three for start and seven for finish, it's going to return RRY and then BA. So basically, it's going to start from the third character in Barry, which is R, until the seventh character. But because there's only five characters, it's going to return three, four, and five, which is R, R, Y, and then go back to the start and get two more, B and A. So a proposed algorithm for substring has been developed. So here we can see begin substring, name, start, and finish, set length or len to the number of characters in name, set result to an empty string, quotes there, and then while start is less than or equal to finish, append start as character of name to result, add one to start, if start is greater than len, then set start to one, and we end that if statement, and then uh, end the while loop and repeat as long as start is less than or equal to finish. At the end of the while loop, we should uh, return the result from this Submodule for this function, and that's the end of the function. So, this algorithm contains a logic error and does not always produce the expected result. We need to perform a desk check of the algorithm using these values for the parameters. So, dog for the parameter name, two for start, and four for finish. Okay, so let's draw up a table for this desk check and list all of these uh, variables at the top of each column. So, just gonna draw up a pretty big table here. So we need a bit of room here to, to work with. Okay, um, might just create that a bit bigger actually, so. All right, I'm going to add five columns to this table. and list our variables. And this uh, work solution is going to be based off the solution uh, in the HSC exam answers for the paper. Um, and I'm gonna go through uh, this desk check. So we'll put uh, the first variable here we have is len. So let's add that in. Uh, we've got name, finish, result and start. Okay, so uh, len is going to be the length or number of characters in name. Okay, so the value that we have provided for name is dog. So we know that there are three characters in the word dog, so we're gonna set len to three. And then on the next line of code, we'll set result to uh, an empty string there. Okay, so let's just start putting in these values here for the variables. We've got an empty string for result, just quotes. Um, we'll add in the other information that we know so far. So start is two and finish is four. And the name that's provided is dog. Okay, so that's our first line of the desk check. Done. Now, um, now that we've set result to an empty string, we can move on to the next line of code, our while loop here. While start is less than or equal to finish, okay, start is two, finish is four. So start is less than finish. We'll append start it, character of name to result. So start is two, so that means we're going to append the second character of name, so second letter in dog, which is O, to the result. So result is going to change to O. 
and then we add one to start. All right, so increase start by one. Now it should be three. So we'll make a new line for that, or new row in this table. If start is greater than length, start uh, is not greater than length, it's equal to length. So we can skip this if statement, go back up to the top of the while loop and check is start still less than or equal to finish. Start is three and finish is four. So yes, it is less than. Append start character of name to result. So start is three. So we're going to get the third character from name and add that to result. So now we have OG. Okay. Uh, add one to start. Let's just add that here. So increasing start by one. So now it's four. And we check if start is greater than length. Start is four. Length or len is three. So yes, this is true. If that's true, then we set start to one. So that's reset back to one. Now we can go back up to the top of the while loop here. While start is less than or equal to finish, start is now one, finish is still four. So that's true. So we append start the character of name to result. So the first character of name, first character of dog, is going to be added to result. So it's going to be O G D. And actually it's an uppercase D there, so it's O G uppercase D. We'll just uh, correct that here in name. It should be uppercase D O G. All right, so we've appended that to the end of um, result. We need to add one to start. So start will now be two. If start is greater than length, okay, so start is not greater than length. So we'll skip that if statement, run back up to the top of the while loop. Start is still less than finish, so start is two, finish is four, so it's still less than or equal to finish. Uh, append start the character of name to result. Start is two, so we're going to grab character two, or second character from name, which is O, and add that onto the end of result. So now it's going to be O G D O. Okay. Add one to start again, so start will now be three. If start is greater than length, start is equal to length, so we'll skip the if statement and run back up the top. While start is less than or equal to finish, start is less than finish, three is less than four. We'll append start as character of name to result. So start is uh, three, so we need to get the third character of name or third character of dog and add it to the end of result. So the third character is G. So now we'll have O, G, D, O, G. All right, now we can add one to start. Start is four now, and check if start is greater than len. So four is greater than three. So we'll set start to one. All right, now at this point, you'll realize that it's going to be an infinite loop. All right, you may have already realized that this is an infinite loop. So we've just reset start back to one again, which means that if we go back up to the top of this while loop, start is again, it's still gonna be less than finish. So one is less than four. So we're going to, uh, again, append start of character of name to result. So start is one, so, we're going to get the first character of name again and add it to the end of result. So it's going to be O, G, D, O, G, and then D again. All right, and then we'll add one to start again. We'll get two. And basically, this is just going to keep repeating. All right, so if start is not greater than length, which it currently isn't, it's going to skip that and go back up to the top here. Start is less than finish, so two is less than four. It's going to add another character to the end of um, result, and it's going to increase start by one. And this is just going to keep repeating endlessly. All right, and the string will just keep building up, keep building up, and it's just going to keep repeating dog, 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 dog at the end of result. So the problem that we have here is this loop 
uh, it's just never going to never going to end. As soon as we get um, as soon as start is greater than length, so as soon as start is four, it's greater than length, which is three. It's going to reset start back to one, um, which means that this condition here, while start is less than or equal finish, is always going to be true. There's never an opportunity for that condition to evaluate to false and for the loop to end and for the result to be returned from this function. So basically, it's an infinite loop where the process never ends. So the process never ends because there is an infinite loop. Or an infinite while loop. Okay, now if we have a look at the criteria here, for three marks, we need to provide a substantially correct desk check that shows the inf infinite loop. Okay, so we can just explain here that the process never ends because of an infinite loop, but our desk check here is, is showing that there's an infinite loop. We've, we've provided enough evidence here, we've gone through the loop uh, a few times now uh, to show that uh, we, we're getting more than what we're meant to get. We're meant to basically take dog, start from the second character and finish at four. So we should have had OG, so characters two and three, and then uh, D as well. So two would be O, three would be G, four would be D. Um, but as we can see, We've gone over and over again, getting more characters, and it's never going to end. So this shows evidence that there's an infinite loop, that the process never ends. And just add an explanation here. At the bottom of the desk check, our, our result of the desk check is that the process never ends because of an infinite loop. Okay. In this uh, exam, the next uh, part of this question, question B, you need to explain how breakpoints and single line stepping can be used to locate and, conf and confirm the source of the error. And then part C, you need to modify the algorithm so it always produces the correct result. Uh, so in another video, we'll look at uh, parts B and C. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.